Just imagine that you are a 13-year-old girl and your parents tell you that you have to get married maybe next week to someone in their home country that you've never seen, maybe you've never even been there before. And imagine that your parents tell you that if you don't submit to the marriage, that you'll be kicked out immediately, that you'll be cut off from the family forever, that it'll kill your parents, or perhaps your younger sister may be offered up to the man instead if you refuse. Not to mention the possibility of beatings, being held captive in your room for weeks on end, being followed wherever you go. There may be nowhere that that young woman feels safe to turn for help within her family or community. For a young woman who is forced into marriage, what that really can mean is a lifetime of being raped by a husband she did not choose. Tahare launched its forced marriage initiative uh, because we wanted to galvanize a national response to a problem that was serious, but up to this point was largely hidden. For many of these young women, they may have only one chance to reach out for help. And we need to make sure that service providers from uh, legal and social services agencies to police to family court judges and others are at the ready to offer them that lifeline. Forced marriage is a real and serious problem in the United States and it touches many, many different communities. The scope of the problem is vast and so we have an obligation to make our response just as uh, significant. We have a truly historic opportunity right now with Tahereh's Forced Marriage Initiative.